friends welcome back to my channel and a warm welcome if you are new my name is Desiree and on this channel I like to share grocery hauls coupon deals money saving tips and mom life stuff so first off if you have are having a hard time hearing me I'm sorry my refrigerator is being kind of loud um, I believe it's kind of on its last legs of life of being a refrigerator that was built way after the 70s so yeah they just don't last as long um, but anyways so I spent over $140 at Costco today. There is one double item, so I didn't feel like putting both on the table, and I'll let you know what that is. Um, there are some Costco instant savings deals right now. The booklet is good until August 28th, I believe. I've been going to Costco twice a month, and it's just because it's convenient to me. I live fairly close and i go during the instant savings times and if there's something else that will bring me into the store during hot deals i will go back again um so yeah let's just get started and i'll let you know prices um let me know below so this would be more of a pain to me um but if you enjoy watching videos like that a little bit more would you rather me pop in the prices as i go along or I might just surprise you and do that with this video. But let me know below if you have a preference because um, I can totally do that. It just takes a little more time on my part. So anyways, first thing, I think this is the only non-food item I bought. So Duracell D batteries. Um, these were are normally $17.99, which is a lot. Um, but you they took $3 off, so $14.99 for these batteries. Um, I needed these because we have a very old Radio Shack lantern that my son loves and we can probably just buy him a new one that won't use like a whole pack of batteries like this um, but it took eight batteries and um, I just needed more and all the other Duracell batteries were on sale too so if you need nine volt for you know those smoke detectors um, they are on sale right now so there is that moving on we got some bananas this is the only fresh produce I bought Costco produce at least in my area has gone up so much <laughs> that I am starting to buy more from other stores, from, you know, Meyer, um, Target, and stuff like that. So this is the only fair price um, thing I bought was $1.49 for three pounds of bananas. Um, let's go over here. So this is the one thing that I bought two of and I didn't feel like carrying the other one and putting it on the table. So this is still $19.99 for my Celsius Life Fit. They have a ton of energy drinks now. I feel like a year or so ago, there was like a couple options. Now there's like eight, which is a lot for a Costco. Sam's Club, they're the ones who are usually have more variety, but yeah, they just have tons of like these zero sugar energy drinks. But this one's is still our favorite. We've tried Zoa. We had a sample of Aspire and a sample of C4, which has like the Skittles and Starburst flavor. Um, I did try the Starburst and it was pretty good, but price-wise, I'd rather just go with my Celsius for $19.99 for a 15-pack. So I got two of those. Moving over here, this is a new-ish to us product. I might have bought one 8-pack from Kroger a long time ago, but I just don't remember. Um, we're not too picky with sparkling waters. We drink this instead of pop. Um, or soda or whatever you want to call it. I grew up calling it soda, but here it's pop. Um, but we drink this instead and you still get that flavor. We drink a ton of water, but sometimes you just need some flavor in your life. And I'm not a big fan of like those squeezy things, um, like stir and stuff. I tried that. I didn't like it. Um, but anyways, this was $9.69 for this variety pack. You get 32 of them. There are, where is it? Cherry, lime, black cherry, lime, and... Um, ruby red grapefruit so I'm gonna try that um, the only sparkling water we were not the biggest fans of like we drank it just to drink it but was the aha ones I just there's like an aftertaste to those and I didn't care for them so moving over here this is the only other instant savings I I just wasn't blown away by instant savings this month some months I think it was last month there was a bunch of things that I bought and this month there was like nothing that I typically need um, so this was the other only thing I got was Laughing Cow Light Cheese. It is normally $9.49, which I would never pay for that. And it was $3.50 off. So, so $4.99 for 32 wedges. And it comes in four packs. And yes, it is already open. My husband got into it last night. Um, 
if you don't know me by now, I, I usually go and shop. And by the time I come home, I'm just too tired and I just put everything, all the cold stuff away and I just record the next day. But anyway, so $4.99 for that. My son's also been loving it. He just eats it with crackers and stuff. So there is that. Next thing, this was not a good deal, but I bought it anyways, probably total impulse um, thing. So, ooh, yeah, I didn't, I think that's more than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> $13.49 for this two pack of smoked salmon poke bowl, which I think if you buy one of these at Kroger, it's about that, like, it's like eight or nine dollars. Um, we do have a fake poke place here in town. I live in Kentucky, by the way. It's a landlocked state, but I've never gotten sick eating sushi here, just to give you that warning. Um, but this is smoked salmon poke, so I could totally just buy smoked salmon, and I have rice and everything else. So I can make it up, but it's just for the convenience sake, and it's, it's, it is pretty good. It comes in these little cartons, um, and my husband likes it as well. So I guess for a special little lunch, because this is not nearly enough for a dinner, um, this would be kind of fun and different um 23 grams of protein so there's a plot positive right so that was 13.49 for that moving over here i've gone back and forth getting this for months this used to be 13.99 at my store like a year ago and now it is 19.99 at about super bowl time so when was that february this year it was going up to like 16.99 and i thought oh i'll just wait till it goes on sale it never went on sale so it is still $19.99 for this just bare, boneless, skinless, lightly breaded chicken breast chunks. I don't like that word chunks. But anyways, um, I feel like this is a healthier alternative to a lot of the chicken tenders and stuff I buy. Um, plus, I'm trying not to go to as many stores. We have school starting up and um, I just, I'm not going to have as much time anymore. So um, $19.99, this is a four pound bag. So this should last us a while. Um, and then if... We don't care for it we'll go back to the aldi chicken i believe i really really like this product because i bought it twice before like before the price really went up um and people like to compare it to chick-fil-a i i think chick-fil-a is better however if you just buy like the 30 pack of nuggets like the family meal it's already like 16 dollars. so for a little bit more you get a ton more and you could it's just convenient to throw in your um air fryer and we've been eating like our chicken tenders on salad so there is that enough about chicken tenders right this was $12.89 so also kind of pricey but just for convenience you get four microwave pouches of this pure pura vita fire roasted brussels sprouts and uncured bacon we have had this before um, it's very convenient it says you microwave for five minutes but what i do is i microwave it for a little less i have a really powerful microwave so i go like maybe four minutes and then i finish it off in either the toaster oven under broil or in the air fryer the only thing about my air fryer is like the bacon and stuff falls through the grates but um anyways i like to finish it off like that so that you get a nice little like toasty I don't know, broiled top. Um, and my husband likes it as well. So no nitrates or nitrates added. Cool. Um, but yeah, it's an easy little um, side to have. And yeah, expensive. $12.89, but bacon is still expensive. So I guess it is what it is, right? Moving over here. This is still a really good deal. I, I feel like chicken, well, I know that chicken is going up. However, beef and pork is is relatively low still. I think this is about the same price. It might have been $1.99 a pound before, but anyways, $13.93, and there's actually two pieces of tenderloin in each pack, so for four tenderloins, I didn't feel that that's bad at all. I usually throw these in the slow cooker, and I've done it many different ways. I've made it like Kahlua pork style, which Kahlua pork, you usually use a um, pork shoulder, um, which was a hot deal last month, but the problem with the pork shoulder is you get a two pack from Costco and they're huge. So I usually would make one right away and throw it, put the other one in the freezer. And I just don't like like rebagging stuff. Um, so I like, so for a little bit more and a little bit better quality, I like getting these two packs. So I will use one. So I'll keep one in the fridge and I'll put the other one in the freezer. Just know that when you put it in the freezer, um, these packs tend to leak on me. So make sure you have it like in another dish. So if leakage happens, um, you're prepared um and yeah i've done it many different ways like i said like hawaiian style like kalua pork style um in the slow cooker with just salt um i've done it like it's not, it's not barbacoa 
I'm thinking of the wrong word, but anyways, like Mexican style with lime. Um, I've done it with brown gravy, mushroom gravy. There's just, pork tenderloin is awesome if you eat pork products. So I'll just leave it as that. And it's super easy in the slow cooker. So there is that. And last but not least, I got these low carb tortillas. I really do like the La Banderita brand from um, Sam's Club. But I'm just, like I said, I'm trying not to go to as many stores. So if there's something similar, at one store, then I'll just get it. So there are 20 of them in here. These were five, hold on, let me look at my receipts. 5.79, so a little bit more too, um, and a little bit more in calories. So here is that, 70 calories each. The other ones were like 45 um, calories each, but you know. Six net carbs, nine fiber, five protein. My son's actually been eating tortillas with us. He's He used to be a pretty picky eater, but now he's he's expanding a lot more. And he does not really need to be eating low-carb stuff. He's a six-year-old. Um, but these have a little bit more to them. And then I will I like to fry them in just a little bit of oil just to, um, you know, add to it. But anyways, I, I'm going to try these out and hopefully they work out for us. So yeah, along with that missing box of Celsius, I spent just over $141 today at my store. I also finally got my peanut butter cash back i call it peanut butter cash so um a few months ago there was a gif recall and it affected a lot of states and if you bought your peanut butter from costco i will tell you it's super easy you just go to them and say i didn't um get my peanut butter recall refund back and they look it up in the system real quick with your membership card and they saw that i bought two packs when they were on sale so they gave me my 15 dollars back right then on my credit card and yeah it worked out so yeah, if you haven't done that yet and bought your huge packs of peanut butter like I do at Costco, the GIF ones, um, to make sure you do that. So yeah, this was my pretty small haul today. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Um, let me know below if you would like me to start doing prices um, like pop up on the screen. I can totally do that too. But yeah, I hope everyone has a wonderful and blessed day. Bye everyone.